funny and it's everybody's favorite day of the week. The day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And you guys, I can safely say this is a video no one, not a single solitary soul has ever asked me to make. But at the very end of last month, why do I keep wildly swinging this at you? At the very end of last month, you guys, uh, Dogman and I went on the Dogman family reunion experience. It was like a week long staycation in Galveston, which is like a very short drive for us. But while we were there, you know, we had family like from outside of, I almost said from outside of this planet visiting. And so we ended up doing a lot of like touristy kind of, which I still enjoy. You guys, there's hardly nothing I enjoy more in life sometimes than doing the most basic touristy, you know, like the jewelry that they sell you for like $5 with a bug trapped inside, friendship necklaces, sign me up. So while we were there, we were walking around and there is something that Dogman and I love to do every time we're in Galveston, which is to go to Bubba Gump's. <laughs> Once again, I feel like this is the most touristy restaurant you can ever go to. It's a Forrest Gump theme restaurant. And you guys, I'm just gonna lay it out on the table. I honestly, I really don't like Forrest Gump. I just, I don't like that. Ugh, it, like it's a, it's a movie that kind of like, for whatever reason, I know, I know, okay? It's a movie that for whatever reason, it just makes me feel weird. I don't know why. Why? I don't know. But then again, my favorite movie is Clockwork Orange. So, you know, it's opposite day. Anyway, we love Bubba Gumps. Like we used to go there all the time. Like anytime we were gonna go to a fancy restaurant, I always wanted to go to Bubba Gumps. But something that we do if we're not planning on eating there, but we still, even past the Bubba Gumps, is we go in and you can just like walk up to the bar and you can get a strawberry lemonade to go. And if ever I pass there, I have to at least go in and experience the tangy earthly delights of a Bubba Gumps strawberry lemonade. So as we walked in, you guys, the gift shop, it's like I had time traveled back to like, I don't know, 2015. Like just the items that they were selling in there, the motif, the experience. It was very, it was giving, you know, mid 2010s vibes. As we were about to walk out, I just so happened to look over. And what did I see? A barrel of hairbrushes. This is like I fell into a time warp and I found a weird product that I would have designed and sold. It's almost like I created this product for myself in an alternate dimension, okay? They are scented hairbrushes and one is rainbow tie-dye, the other one is camo. Like my two favorite colors all wrapped up in a weird, rather nonsensical product. So we're gonna try and figure it out together is just the hairbrush scented. This was sold on Amazon as well, and it sort of led me to believe that it infuses your hair with a scent. So we're gonna find out, and we're gonna just like brush my hair for the first time in over a decade. I say that all the time, and people are like, you yeah, don't brush your hair. I don't. I comb my hair. I've only combed my hair with a wide tooth comb now for I don't even know how many years. Probably since I was like a sophomore in high school. I had a very unpleasant freshman year hair experience where I decided I was gonna start high school with a perm. So I went and permed my hair, brushed my permed hair. I used to have like a halo of frizz. And honestly, looking back on it, it was kind of, it was kind of cool. I don't know. I didn't like it at the time. I feel like hair straighteners were like not really a thing. Okay, that's how ancient I am. I come from a time before hair straighteners. Also, I just got done with an everything shower. You guys, I feel so fresh. That was very off key, as always. But I figured now is a perfect time to test this out because my hair is still kinda damp. And it does say wet or dry. But I thought like if it does leave a super nasty scent in my hair, I'm not that committed. You know, I haven't like dried my hair all the way. I haven't styled my hair all the way. So I can just wash the scent 
of camo and tie dye out of my hair. So you guys, these are sealed. So let's go ahead and unseal. Also, they were on clearance. So I guess this was like, people were not here for the watchitude brushed scented brushes. So scented hairbrush gently detangles wet or dry hair, no pulling or pain, easy grip handle, ideal for all hair types. All right, let's sniff fruit punch. That's the scent of tie dye quite apparently. Let's break that seal and let's just take a sniff, you know? <laughs> Is this why they were on clearance? You guys smell this. Okay, just take a sniff. Oh, mm, I don't know about that. Oh no. First of all, look at that. <gasps> They're a malanky bit smashed. How will we ever survive? Look at the beautiful rainbow though. Oh my God, tie dye. So I'm gonna be honest. It doesn't smell that bad. It's not amazing. I'm, I'm sincerely reviewing this product as if any single solitary soul is gonna run out and buy this for themselves. Um, why did I just like, oh my god, okay. Oh, it smells like tie-dye. Do you think they'll have that in the future? You know, do you think they'll have like scents like that? Like the scent of tie-dyeing shirts? You know how everybody says there's like that perfume out there called Fleur or something and it's supposed to smell like someone you miss? I'm like afraid to smell that. Is that gonna smell like my grandpa? Anyway, yeah, it's supposed to smell like just missing people. I don't know. I'm scared to sniff it though. But you know what I'm saying? That's not like fig and black currant. That's like a scent of an emotion. So like I want the scent of tie dyeing a shirt. You know, just imagine. It's summertime, you're barefoot in the grass, you've got a tie-dye kit. Just take in those smells. Okay, anyway, where was I in sincerely reviewing this product? It doesn't smell like fruit punch. It smells exactly like cucumber melon and plastic. I definitely smell the heady scents of plastic, which is somewhat comforting. Although, you know what? I know that that is a comforting smell for lots of people. I'm, I'm like, I'm stalling because I'm a little nervous to brush my hair, you guys. <gasps> it's gonna take me back to being a sophomore in high school. I freaking hope not. Oh my God. Maybe it's because I don't know how to brush my hair. I'm pretty sure you're probably not supposed to take just a half of your whole head of human hair and run the brush through it. See, I feel like it makes my hair look fluffy and I'm like really not trying to have that experience. Look at that. <gasps> listen to it. I feel, ah, see that? <laughs> like it makes me, makes me puffy. Um, yeah, I really just wish you guys could smell this. Okay. I'm about to just have a tiny confession that I'm going to share with you guys right now. When I was a junior, I think it was either my junior or senior year of high school. I don't understand why this video is now high school flashbacks. I spilt milk in my locker. And I was not a person that like went to my locker every single day. You know what, maybe this was like senior year because by the time I was like a senior in high school, I thought I was so cool. And I was like, you know what? All I need to take to school with me is not even a backpack. I need to take my purse, one single spiral notebook, a pen and a cell phone. And that was just like what I was doing at the time. So I feel like I just would not go to my locker for long periods of time. I spilt milk in my locker, finally found it. It did not smell good. It was rotten milk. And my thought was to just spray a ton of Bath and Body Works Cucumber Melon body splash just in the locker. And for a long, long time, I could not ever stand to smell like Bath and Body Works cucumber melon because it just also in my brain, I also smelled rotten milk and it was not good. It was not pleasant. And then I think they like discontinued that scent for a really long time up until like, I swear it was maybe like a couple years ago now, they like brought it back as like, we're bringing back the nineties babes. And then I could smell it. And now it brings back like good memories, you know? I'm sure you guys definitely wanted my 
locker rotten milk story. See, I feel like my hair is like looking weirder as I'm brushing it. I don't know. Although my hair, like, I feel like when my hair just like looks like this, okay, and it does not look good. It does not look cute. People think it's like just full of like tangles and knots, but it's not really tangled. It's just not in good condition. And so it does not, it does not look good, but look at that. Okay, I've been just like brushing my hair this whole time because this is a hairbrush review video, but also because, wait, do people brush their hair like this? I don't know how. I don't, I don't know how to brush my hair. I've been just, you know, over here because I wanted to see like, does my hair, ooh, kind of faintly, but I mostly smell my own shampoo which right now, you guys, I reconnected with one of my favorite shampoos of all time, which is Big by Lush. It's amazing. And I close my eyes when I'm in the shower and I pretend that I'm a pirate because it smells like the high seas. So yeah, let's just take one final sniff. No, definitely by like the fourth sniff, my nose must have just inhaled it all. Um, so there's no scent left. But let's just go ahead and sniff the camo one. I feel like this video is almost like it's just it's done now because we've already come to the conclusion that it's a scented hairbrush, but just the hairbrush is scented. But I wonder like how long will the scent last, you know? I don't I don't have any answers. All right, you guys. Wild berry. Which I honestly I'm going to ask Dr. Google right away if wild berry is like a real berry. I know how dumb that probably sounds to a lot of y'all, but oh, wild berry pop tart? You guys, what have I been missing out on my entire life? Wild berry, wild berry incense, wild berry pancakes. What is wild berry? There we go. Okay. Okay. So they say that it's plural wild berries. So it's a combination of strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, and or other berries. What other berries are there? I literally cannot think of another berry besides strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, oh, blueberry. Do we have a blueberry in there? I don't know. Let's take a sniff and find out. I feel like I was about to say another sentence and of course I moved on and then I forgot what I was saying. Let's crack it open. Ah, okay. Y'all, I'm telling you, the first time. Oh, I think I was saying, I know people love plastic smell though. I know that that's like comforting to people, especially kind of like that vintagey plastic smell because people love the scent of like My Little Pony and stuff, like especially like the old My Little Pony. I can see where that would be comforting. Um, this though smells like ye old family friendly industrial plastic. Ooh, this is like, this is maybe like a stronger scent. I don't know, you guys. Is this one? I almost was like blind smell test. I'm trying to smell like, you know, this one in this nostril and this one in this nostril. And they kind of, they definitely do have two distinctive different scents. So that's amazing. So here is up close. Ooh la la. And you guys, I should have just maybe done a better job of like selecting the brushes. We were kind of in a hurry that day. So I just grabbed two of them, ran out the door. I'm sad this one's all smashed though, but let's go ahead and just see hairbrushes are like so grabby. I feel this is like giving me deja vu now though, where I did like test out some other kind of hairbrush. So I probably have brushed my hair like once. <laughs> in the past like thousand years, but I really try not to. I don't know, you guys, I kind of want to just go on like a vastly different hair routine where I try and like be much better to my hair than I am. Like start using like leave-in conditioners more frequently, always use a heat protectant spray. I'm so bad about that. Like, oh my gosh, I know I'm supposed to, okay? It's like a daily vitamin. I know I'm supposed to, but I don't, ah! 
Look, we, we pulled a strand out. Oh my God, do you guys see my missing strand of hair? So yeah, definitely as you're brushing your hair, you do get a scent and it is fun. I mean, I definitely do see why this is sold in a gift shop of a family kind of touristy restaurant. <gasps> I just put it together, you guys. I should maybe find a way to like Forrest Gump or something because I feel like that's why they have tie-dye and camo, right? This is kind of like your Forrest Gump in the 60s, hello, you know? It's all making sense now. I was like, wait, why do they have like tie-dye and camo? I don't know. It is so funny because I do like love the aesthetic of that restaurant because always when we're there, they start like playing like Creedence Clearwater Revival and like just, I don't know, all this like classic rock that I do love listening to, but it's just something about Forrest Gump. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. What? We've come full circle with the conversations of this video. You guys, this video is like 10 times longer than necessary and it's also extremely tea vloggy. So I hope you're here for that. Oh, uh, you guys, for some reason, like the Wildberry one did leave more scent in my hair like i'm five sniffs in and still yeah i don't know that's weird although i feel like i've been saying all along the wildberry one is slightly more scented like just the brush seems more scented than the fruit punch one which does not at all smell like fruit punch i challenge you on that watch a tude brushed on guard so yeah this one does leave a lingering scent in your hair if you're into that. That's another thing that I want to get into is I feel like there's been lots of more hair perfumes, like hair fragrances. Like I just saw one from Diptyque and I'm kind of tempted to try it. So maybe I'll do a video on that. Anyway, you guys, this video is literally so random, silly, and goofy. But it was fun. I don't know. I always miss like tea vlogging with you guys. But then I'm like, <laughs> I never know. I never know what to vlog about. But anyway, that is my review on these brushes. They are definitely worth $7.50 as a novelty item. You know, they're not like the fanciest hairbrush in the world. I think people that like brush their hair a lot of times use like forehead bristle brushes. Aren't those like the fancy? hair brushes, you know? I'm gonna stick with combs, but this definitely has been like a fun experience. So there's that. Ah. Anyway, you guys, thank you all so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator twangs. I love you guys so, so much and I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye.